plant breeding for drop resistance. Drop, also referred to as low moisture stress, is a form of abiotic stress. It is a challenge posed by the environment to the survival and productivity of the plant or crop that occupies a large area. This directly translates the economic loss to the farmers who depends on the harvest. According to the Food and Agriculture Organization, drought accumulates $29 billion in losses to the developing world in agriculture between 2005 and 2015. It is a permanent constraint to agricultural development in developing countries and is probably the single most common and severe stress that subsistence farmers face. And it's also been known that it ranks third among the environmental phenomena which are associated with billion-dollar weather disasters, just right behind tropical cyclones and severe storms. And so, here are the effects of drought in plants. First, it lowers the height of a plant. Second, it reduces leaf size. Third, it makes and go for less fruit production, so less production. And with that, it also has smaller number of leaves. And lastly, it also has changes in the reproductive phase of the plant. The U.S. Drought Monitor proposed different levels of drought according to a plant's standard precipitation index, which is how rain commonly comes across time in the area. So the lowest the lowest level corresponds to an is to an area experiencing experiencing short-term dryness, which is typically at the onset of drought. And the highest category or level corresponds to an area experiencing exceptional and widespread crop and pasture losses. So this is the exceptional drought with the SPI of greater than 2.0. There are five categories overall in the levels provided by the U.S. Drought Monitor. Drought resistance it is the ability of plants to tolerate substantial degradation of their tissues and organs as well as overheating. Drought resistance is determined main, mainly by the hereditary properties that develop in the course of evolution, although plants may adapt uh, to drought as they mature. Plant breeding for drought problems. Polanyi et al. 2017 suggests the development of genotypes adapted to these conditions through genetic improvement, which is an important strategy to address drought stress. Drought stress limits growth and yield of crops, particularly under, under smallholder production systems, which minimal use of inputs and edaphic limitations such as nitrogen deficiency. plant breeding for drought problems uh, according to Lynch um, 2018 reduced reduced root development would be advantageous for drought resistance in high input agro ecosystems selection regimes for crops crop ancestors and land races include multiple stresses intense competition and variable resources resource distribution which favored prolific root production development plus developmental plasticity in response to resource availability and maintenance of unspecialized root tissues. So, screening of root traits at early stages in plant development can proxy traits at mature stages. While the shoot drives water uptake through a plant, root system size, properties, and distribution uh, ultimately determine plant access to water. An area of recent interest is improvement of root traits that increase efficient um, development of tissues for foraging soil water and um, the maintenance and productivity under water deficit. But the still the key question is which root traits help most and, un and under what condition. 
discussion of these root traits and other resulting from advances in the plant ecophysiological arena are the subject of this review. So here's the here's the genes or traits that lead to drought drought tolerance. So there are ways in identifying genes and traits in response with water deficits. So first is recognizing that that are included in response with water deficits. So in here we are gonna screen the genes if there's uh, changes in its function or its traits in in response to water deficit. Number two is analyzing mutants that express a modified response to water limitations. So again, mutants uh, can outstand the normal genes. So with this, analyzing the mutants, we can we can identify if if this uh, if the traits that occur in mutants are relative to water limitation uh, responses. Number three is dissecting the physiological traits followed by quant uh, quantitative uh, locus mapping or 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 end of the genes and alleles so uh, i just want to explain what is qtl so it's a statistical analysis of alleles that occurs on the phenotype so in the phenotype phenotype which means in the physical uh, physical form so it can be the roots or it uh, the roots became short and whatsoever number four is the comparative analysis of drought sensitive and drought tolerant species so here we we compare that the different uh species that uh possess this uh this uh type of traits which is drought sensitive and those uh species that uh possess drought tolerance so genes and pathways in response to water deficit so there's a study and uh according to its uh uh, its legal author, a uh, pathways it starts a, perce a, perce a perception of water deficits through a reduction of cell turgor that leads in the accumulation of uh, plant hormone ABA. So, just a quick explanation: when uh, when there's a, a phenomena that occurs of water deficiency on plants, so cell turgor acts and that leads to the accumulation of plant hormone, which in which in this plant hormone, a, uh, ABA or abscisic acid, uh, uh, triggers different uh, different gene functions, in which due to uh, due to ABA accumulation, different genes are activated, which includes the encodes of hydro hydrophilins, oleosinins, and heat, heat shocks protein. So, uh, uh, to simplify it, a abscisic acid uh, triggers uh, the the function of the plants to uh, conserve water in a way that it's uh, about dito. It's tom its stomates or stomatas uh, begin begin to lower its uh, opening or uh, it shortens it, what we call this term in English it 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 slightly closes the opening to conserve water. That's uh that's how the uh, effects of ABA accumulation and not also that it includes also the different function as well as it produ uh, it produces heat shock proteins all you it includes the hydropolins oleosinins and other enzymes and also for protection from rust and pests so it's just not about um drought 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 resistance or tolerance but also this uh, when ABA accumulation uh, uh, affects the genes, it also triggers the for, uh, no, the other enzymes that is responsible for uh, pest protection. or uh, yeah. And also, various processes are responsible for accumulation of compatible solutes. Mechanism of Drought Tolerance Drought tolerance has three major mechanisms which are drought avoidance, drought escape, and drought tolerance. In drought avoidance, it increases the ability to maintain relatively high plant water status despite a shortage of moisture in the environment. In drought avoidance, plants have high relative water content, low epidermal conductance, height, and high transpiration efficiency. Drought escape minimize, minimizes the interacting of drought with crop growth and yield. Drought tolerance gives the ability to produce despite loss of plant water status. Crops in, in here have high harvest index. 